If your site is dealing with a traffic drop during or around the dates of the core update or the Google HCU update, here is something you want to check. All right, everyone, I was doing a website consult and this grabbed my attention. The site started having problems around a Google core update in the fall of 2023. Now, this one was a little bit different because it wasn't site wide or the entire site that went down. It was about five or six URLs that plummeted and created this cliff that you can see with the red arrow. Everything was going along fine and then they were just slammed into almost no impressions and no clicks. I knew the keywords that the site was having problems with. So I went back into Google Search Council and I isolated the keyword that they told me was the most important. And when I pulled it up, you can see when the keyword first started to do well. And then as you follow the chart into around the dates of where they got into trouble, you can see the ranking became very spotty and it was in and out. And let me tell you, this is what keyword can cannibalization looks like. However, this was very different from your typical keyword cannibalization. If your site is currently dealing with a traffic drop, you can isolate the keyword that you are having trouble with. Odds are you're having trouble with a lot of different keywords, but you want to isolate it. And then you want to take a look at the map to see what it looks like. You'll probably see where you were ranking fine. And then all of a sudden things got really spotty. You can see the ranking coming in and out with the orange line. Because I isolated the keyword, I was able to scroll down down and check to see which pages were associated with this keyword. Now, this is where it looked even more like keyword cannibalization to me. The green bar represents the page that should have been targeting that keyword. And then underneath, you have a blue box, a yellow box, an orange box, a black box. Those were all different URLs that were ranking for that particular keyword. They were gaining impressions. They were having click-throughs. And again, I was like, okay, we have class classic keyword cannibalization. Let me take a look at those pages. When I pulled up the pages, that's where the plot thickened. The meta titles were not targeting the same keyword at all, at least not to my eye. The URLs were all constructed very different and targeting very different keywords. When you take a look at the content, it wasn't similar to the other content. It was talking about different keywords. So each page was targeting a different keyword. However, in the back of Google Search Council, if this is what it looks like, there is a big problem. I began to pull up the other pages in the back of Google Search Council. You can see this particular page had 68 impressions and three total clicks. And if you take a look, you can see that the page was actually ranking for the keyword and gaining impressions. Here is a different page that I pulled up and you can see the same thing where the keyword started rank on a different page and it was pulling in impressions and click throughs. Again, in the back of GSC, this looked like classic keyword cannibalization. But when you go to the pages, to your eye, it will look like you are targeting different keywords. As an example, you might see one of the pages targeting the best cage for a bunny. And then the other page was targeting why do bunnies have red eyes? So to the human eye, it wasn't really apparent. And the keyword that were being targeted for the most part did look like different keywords. There was no keyword tool that told me they were the same keywords. And if you take a look at the entities for each of the pages, they were similar, but not exactly the same. If you find yourself in this situation, the next thing you need to do is start to Google your actual keywords that each of the pages were targeting and check to see if Google views them as different keywords. What we started dealing with is something that I'm calling topical cannibalization. We actually started to cannibalize as the topics were collapsing and Google was viewing the topics as the same. Because the topics were collapsing and Google viewed them as the same, we began to topically cannibalize, but we weren't necessarily targeting the same keyword on the site. The cleanup to topical cannibalization is very very similar to keyword cannibalization and I began to work on the site 
and deciding which page would be the front runner for that particular keyword. This story does have a happy ending. This is what it started to look like once all of the work was completed. The keyword did start to take off again. That once all the major decisions were made and we decided what the main page should be, those particular URLs began to perform again and they performed well. Now, this particular site was not hit site wide. However, this is what I'm seeing when I work on sites that were hit with the Google Core update or the Google Helpful Content update. Topically, some of your topics have collapsed and you are cannibalizing. And once you start to cannibalize, you will flatline on your graph because if Google cannot decide which page to show, eventually it doesn't show any of your pages or it shows different pages so sporadically you lose a ton of traffic. So you want to take a look and isolate whatever keyword that you are having problems with. Like I said, you're probably having problems with many, not just one. And once you isolate it, if your chart looks like this, where the orange ranking line is coming in and out and your traffic has dropped like this, you need to investigate further to see if your topics have actually collapsed or if you're dealing with keyword cannibalization. So now we have two types of cannibal cannibalization that we need to be aware of, which is keyword cannibalization and topical cannibalization. This particular site got lucky where it was only five to six URLs that were originally hit. Once we worked on them, they went back up with no problem. But what I'm seeing with sites that were hit with the Google Core or the Helpful Content Update is that you have a ton of URLs that have been topically cannibalized, keyword cannibalized, and other issues going on throughout the site. And if you're not working on on those, you're not going to be able to recover. This is just something that you can add to your toolbox so that you can see what the heck is going on with your site and begin to work on actual recovery.